Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wish all the best for all of you and I have something else for all of you that are new on my channel and you are visiting my channel for the first time. Please subscribe me and leave a comment in the section below. Today we're gonna talk about first Apple car 2025-2028. The Apple electric car project code named Titan is an electric car project undergoing research and development by Apple Incorporate. Apple has yet to openly discuss any of its self-driving research, but around 5,000 employees were reported to be working on the project as of 2018. In August 2018, the BBC reported that Apple had 66 road-registered driverless cars, with 111 drivers registered to operate those cars. In 2020, it is believed that Apple is still working on self-driving related hardware, software and service as a potential product instead of actual Apple branded cars. In December 2020, Reuters reported that Apple was planning on a possible launch date of 2024, but analyst Ming-Chi Kuo claimed it would be not be launched before 2025 and might not be launched until 2028 or later. The company is reportedly in talks with Nissan, Hyundai, Kia and Porsche. Apple Car Features The Apple Car won't be your typical electric car. Instead, it's going to be completely autonomous and will do all the driving for you. To get around the car, it's going to be equipped with LiDAR sensors that will help it see the world around it. LiDAR is short for light detection and ranging, and the system works by sending out pulsed lasers. Those lasers will be reflected back to the car sensor and it hits objects and using that information it forms a picture of what objects are in their surrounding area and how far away they are. Instead, Mark Gurman reports that Apple will be de developing its most advanced chips for use in the Apple car. The chip is said to be mostly formed of neural processors to power all the algorithms the car will need if it really will drive itself. Apple car autonomous driving. One of the long-standing Apple car rumors is that it would be a self-driving car of small kind. However, it was never clear whether this would be limited autonomy, like the level 2 autonomous driving system currently on the road, or if Apple was aiming for a true self-driving car that didn't need any human interaction. A report from the ELEC claims Apple has partnered with outsourced semiconductor assembly and test company OS. AT in South Korea to develop chips for the Apple Car's autonomous driving system. However, the report likened it to Tesla Autopilot, which is a long way of true autonomous driving. But where is the Apple Car being built? Apple is, as many people know, a computing company with absolutely zero experience building and selling cars. So the prospect of it actually building the Apple car itself is kind of laughable. It's most likely the actual manufacturing would be outsourced to a different company with all the relevant resources already. While there's no shortage of automakers out there, it's been reported that many of them are hesitant about being involved with the Apple car. Right now, the fortuner for Apple car construction is said to be LG and Canadian auto parts manufacturer Magna. Magna has manufacturing plants all over the world, so it's not clear which ones would be used to build the Apple car. Earlier this year, it was reported that Hyundai was the fortune, fortuner for Apple car, though it's since been reported that Hyundai isn't particularly interested in developing a car under someone else's names. For reasons, subsidiary Kia was brought on board as a replacement, with the goal reportedly being to produce the Apple car at its plant in Georgia. 
And let's speak about the development history of Apoca. The history of the Apoca goes all the way back to 2014 under the name Project Titan, purportedly with the goal of releasing it to the public in 2020. Obviously, that never happened, but reports seem to suggest that some progress is being made on making the Apple car a reality. We have had glimpses of some sort of Apple-affiliated vehicle, supposedly testing self-driving tech throughout California. Apple has always kept those details close to its chest, like it doesn't does with everything else, so we don't have any official statements on what this car were up to. That said, hearing engineers from the likes of Mercedes, Tesla and other big car companies confirms Cupertino has some sort of automotive ambitions, but mass layoffs suggest that Apple car development has not been totally smooth sailing. Apple has said till yet, Apple is usually mom about unreleased products and the Apple car is no exception. However, Tim Cook has confirmed that the automotive sector has piqued Apple's interest hinting at his company's car plans during an appearance on Kara Swisher's Sway podcast. Cook said, many of them never see the light of day, I'm not saying that one will not. More encouragingly, Cook seemed to suggest that should Abel get involved with cars, it would not be content to merely design a software setup and hand it over to a car manufacturer. We love to integrate hardware, software and services and find the intersection points of those because we think that's where the magic occurs, Cook said. And so that's what we love to do and we love to own the primary technology that's around that. But what it would look like? Given where we are in the Apple car development cycle, it's still pretty early on. There's not a lot of images out there to reveal what an Apple designed car might look like. So we have got concept designers stepping up to fill in the gap between imagination and reality. One of the boldest designs we have seen so far comes from designer Lise Fetcher, with released a series of renders that imagine Apple's car based on famous Apple products. Our favorite example takes a Nissan G GTR and combines it with an iPhone 12 Pro, but there are other concepts from Lise Fetcher that drew on the original iMac and iPod for inspiration. Vanaram has also developed 3D model of a possible Apple car design, which is claims is based on an official Apple patents. However, we have no doubt that the Apple car will look a lot different because this design is ugly as sin. It even features three pedals and a large front grille, both of which would defy the many, many rumors that the Apple car will be an all-electric vehicle. And let's talk about Apple car price. The Apple car may cost north of $100,000, use premium titanium materials in its design. As to the novelties Apple may be planning to bring to the AV mix sometime in 2025, these include an increased use of premium metal materials like titanium, as well as a keyless entry via the iPhone. Apple already had its car key option that works with certain BMW, Genesis, Kia and other vehicles right now, so it makes sense that it will try to keep its walled garden intact in the AV realm as well.